Hi guys, it's Emily. Welcome back to my channel. Today I just have a, well, relatively quick um, journal share for you. This is a custom order um, for a beach house guest book. Um, so it is relatively simple inside. Um, more space to write, obviously, because that is the purpose of it. Um, it is meant to be, you know, at this um, beach house, at a guest house sort of um, situation. And um, it is for the owners and their family and friends and anyone who might be staying to record their memories of their trip or their vacation or what have you. So um, yeah, so like I said, it's relatively simple inside, um, but still I am just absolutely crazy about it. <laughs> I absolutely love it. Um, I used two different digital um, junk journal kits for this particular book. The first one um, is the postcards from the seaside by Nikki Adigan at Musings by Nikki. And then the second one is A Day at the Beach by Andrea at Artie Mays. Um, and I just think that they went together absolutely perfectly. Um, and it was, I used both of them because I wanted more pages basically. Um, and I just wanted, you know, all the elements from both of them. They were just, they're both gorgeous kids. And I couldn't decide on one. <laughs> it's pretty much how that works out. Um, it's going to be difficult, possibly, for me to point out, um, you know, each individual kit's pieces. So I'm going to link both of them below and you can go and check them out. Um, otherwise, this video will just be way too long if I keep saying, and this is Nikki's and this is Andrea's and this is Nikki's. It'll just be, um, it'll get, it'll get out of hand, even though I, I want to do that. Um, I might find myself doing that occasionally, but um, you can go and check them out on Etsy um, for yourself. So let's get started. Basically, um, this is a front and back cover from a newer book. Um, I used it because I loved the navy blue color and it measures approximately six by nine and a quarter. And then I created a almost three inch spine. I think it ended up being like two and seven eighths inches. And I covered that with um, some wallpaper samples that I had. Um, it came from a book of wallpaper samples called Boathouse, which was just absolutely perfect. And you will see throughout that I used other pieces from that um, wallpaper book. It has five signatures. I did not count the pages, um, but yeah. <laughs> anyway, also I, on the spine, I used some, um, there's some white grosgrain ribbon behind this really pretty navy blue lace, um, just to kind of, you know, cover up the edges of the wallpaper that um, were kind of plain. But I, oh, I love the navy and white combination. And then I just made a closure with some white um, silk that I had torn and frayed myself. And then the images on the front are a combination of um, Artie Mays and Musings by Nikki. I used some baby blue cheesecloth behind there because I thought it looked, it kind of looked like fish netting to me, even though, I mean, it, you know, obviously not the same thing, but it just reminded me of what you would see, you know, on a, a boat or something. I don't know. <laughs> it just worked in my head. Um, and then this was just a little like sticker. Um, it's like a chipboard sticker that I had that had anchors on it. And it just kind of added a little bit of color to the front here. And as you can see, I left um, any sewing threads long because that's what I do. All right, so let's go ahead and open it up here. And I used some um, fabric from a little girl's dress. My cousin was kind enough, actually my cousin's wife, but I consider her my cousin too, um, was kind enough to give me uh, their daughter's uh, clothes that she had outgrown and there were some amazing fabrics in there one of them being this adorable little dress with these um, anchors so I used that 
on the inside of the spine um, and some more lace down here and at the top, um, you know, just to, I don't know, just to make it pretty. <laughs> And then on the inside, I just did a little bit of layering up of different images. I also used, I forgot, I also used um, a couple of Nikki's um, rip strip digitals. One being the postcards and the other one was the, I'm not sure exactly the name of it, was either Ocean Life or Sea Life or you'll see. Um, and I'll, I will link all of that below. And then I used, I had some navy and white baker's twine and I just kind of, you know, layered some things up there in the front. It's not a pocket or anything. I just liked how it looked. So, all right, so let's go ahead. I'm just gonna kind of flip through and just let you look, um, you know, unless there's something major to point out. Um, like these are book pages from, a, an Audubon Society book of seashells. And I just thought that was kind of perfect to go in here. Um, I did create a bunch of um, flips with these book pages and these came from a vintage book. Um, I believe it's, it's called Coasts and, oh, what is it called? I think it's a British book, but anyway, I can't remember. Um, I just lined the back of them with different types of paper to write on just to give some more writing space, but I thought they were kind of cool and there are different images. And then you've just got, I've just got these paper clips that just happen to kind of look nautical to me um, with the gold and the white. And then, you know, you've got journaling cards, lots and lots of space to write. This is another piece of wallpaper from that book of samples. And what I did here, this is actually a piece of the wallpaper that I turned into a pocket. And then this is a page from that book again um, that I got the other page from. And I just folded it in half and added a pretty little banner. That's from Artie Mays. And then there's room to write inside there. And then you've got, you know, sea creatures to look at on the outside. <laughs> and I just, I kind of wanted to cover up, you know, the writing that's always on the back side of the wallpaper sample. So this is actually um, some printable paper uh, that I purchased on Etsy and I cannot remember. It might've been, um, oh, I'm not even gonna be able to remember. I'm so sorry. I will link it below, um, but that came from one of, um, it was like a, a pack of different blue textures, I believe it was called. So I'll link it below. And all these beautiful background pages. Oh, it's just so pretty. And I had these blue envelopes. So I added those in the middle and I just added um, a large journaling card that says who, what, when, where, and why on both sides. Cause I thought that would kind of be, um, you know, um, oh, what is the word? My brain isn't working this morning. Appropriate <laughs> for a guest book. <laughs> That's the word. And I used the tickets from um, Andrea's kit as little tucks for the envelopes. And then here is that, that Boathouse wallpaper sample book was also, also had fabric samples in it that matched to the wallpaper. So I took a bunch of those and made just little flips with them. I'll put some more of that blue lace at the top. I love this image. I love this. This is Nikki's. I know that for certain. <laughs> I love that with the lobster. So cool. Um, this is just some, uh, it's a piece of a shirt actually that I had that I cut apart and there was um, some of the, the trim on it was this really pretty, um, this right here. So I cut it down and made pockets. And then, you know, you've got space inside for writing. Other side of that wallpaper. And then here's another one of Nikki's rip strips. And this is the one that comes from the aquatic or sea life. I can't remember what it's called. My brain is not working today. Um, I, got a, I got five of these in Happy Mail. 
um, a while ago and I've just kind of been holding on to them because they're so cool because I don't have this die, but they're, they're like um, viewfinder, you know, little, I love them. So a lot of, a couple of them were map pages and you'll see the other ones. But anyway, I thought they kind of, kind of went. I just kind of liked them with this. So I just added those as decoration. And then I used some of um, Andrea's Polaroid pictures from her kit to decorate the bag. And it, I mean, as you can see, everything is very simple. I didn't, you know, I didn't add anything to the tags um, because I wanted it to be something that someone could sit down and write in as opposed to, you know, um, all decorated and whatnot. But you've got some more space for writing here. Some coffee dyed paper. We're um, on the other side of the first signature here. And then I did make um, two of these, Tim Holtz little stitch pockets. Um, I used Dee Dee's awesome dyed um, index cards. And then I figured, you know, some people don't necessarily want to write like a whole page. Maybe they just want to sign their name. So all of these little pieces can be used um, for that purpose. So, you know, if you just want to sign your name or just write a little hello note to the owner, um, something like that, then that's what these would be for. But I just, yeah, I thought that was kind of a cute idea. All right, that's the first signature. Some more shells. And then this is another flip here. This was some coffee dyed paper I got in a swap, actually. I love that. That is on my agenda for today, is to coffee dye some paper because I am all out. <laughs> and apparently you can't just wish for more and have it show up. I I know, I. it's unfortunate. Like I've tried many, many times to just wish for more <sighs> ready-made to your coffee dyed paper. It doesn't happen. The fairy does not show up at my house. So I have these punches, they're planner punches from We Are Memory Keepers, and I just punched the tops of these index cards. The Didi, Didi also dyed these for me. And I just thought those were kind of nice to tuck in there and then people could write messages on them. And then that is just clipped on here. And some more wallpaper. And again, I just used that paper to cover up the words. Another envelope here, another fabric flip. This actually matches the wallpaper that I used on the spine. And then and again, just there's a postcard in here and another, um, it's a, oh yeah, I'm not gonna be able to think of it. Um, Project Life card. Oh, I haven't had my coffee yet. It's sitting over here to the right of me and apparently I should have, um, I should have finished that before I <laughs> started filming. Another one of these little pockets. Oops. Some more of Nikki's rip strip here. I just thought it was kind of neat on the edge, just kind of, you know. And then this is another one of the viewfinders and it looks, I I have no idea what the page, is a book page, I have no idea what it actually was. But in my mind, it's a little beach house and you can see like the, maybe an island out here in the water. I don't know, it doesn't matter really. This is from Nikki's kit. And then this is Nikki's and this is Andrea's. I know, I said I wasn't gonna do that, but I feel like I need to give them credit. So, and then this is another page from that book. I think it was Coasts and Estuaries, and it's it's a British book. Um, it's, it's old, I've had it for a while. Just some lined paper to write on there. I love all these. Um, quotes that Nikki has in her kit too. And then uh, just a pocket here and some different pieces. All 
All right, that's the second signature. Another flip here. Um, this was some paper I also got in that swap. It's like a, a it's almost like a vellum graph paper of sorts. And then um, whoever sent it to me, I'm not sure, um, coffee dyed it. So it's just kind of cool. So you can actually see the writing on the book page behind it, but I kind of liked how that looked. So use that and then some more pieces in here. Another viewfinder page. That's just from a grammar book, but I still, I thought it looked cool. And then um, I made this. So it just ties in like a half bow. And then there's, I did a little stamp here. And there is a stamp. I thought there was a stamp somewhere else. I guess not. So I just made it kind of into a trifold. And then you've got that on the other side. Um, just, just space for writing. That was the whole goal um, in making this journal. It was just lots of space for writing and I ran out of this lace so it became you know it became a half bow <laughs> but that's okay it's something different I kind of like that <laughs> necessity is the mother of invention that's the saying right there we go and then some more wallpaper and then this was a piece of fabric from the wallpaper um, the wallpaper book and I just turned it into a flip I just stapled it along the edge because it was a longer piece and folded it over and it was just like this in the book so you only got the top side of <laughs> the sailboat so but I still I liked it I liked how it looked so I just added some um, grungy coffee dyed paper here. And then this is another of Nikki's rip strips. And this is a flip that I made with Andrea's pockets. I just doubled them up on each other and then added um, a bunch of different journaling cards in there. And this is on one of Dee Dee's gorgeous um, writ dyed index cards. And another piece here. This actually came in that swap as well. And then here I just created a tuck spot sort of corner pocket um, with a guest check and then some Tim Holtz ephemera and a picture inside there that's also Tim Holtz and some cheesecloth behind it. I kind of liked how that looked and it's just a space for these bigger pieces to sit. All right and we're already to the fourth signature guys. <laughs> Some seagulls here. And there's still plenty of room, you know, um, to add, you know, pictures or other things. It's not, it doesn't, you know, like alligator mouth open. I made a little booklet out of um, this piece from Andrea's kit just with some paper in here. Oh, there's where I did the other stamp. I knew there was another stamp somewhere. <laughs> so that just attaches here. I think I did it on the top. And this is another piece of wallpaper. Again, a postcard and a Project Life card in there. And another piece of fabric from the wallpaper book. So 
some more Nikki's rip strip. Another viewfinder die cut. And I love this tag. This is Nikki's. How beautiful is that? I just, that design, I just love it. <laughs> too much but there we go all right and then the another flip here and then there's the second pocket all right and then the last signature Again, um, I just used a different one of those planner edge punches to edge those cards. Some more wallpaper. Beautiful page. Another envelope. Another fabric flip from the wallpaper book. And then this one I did sideways. Um, I can't remember the reason now. Oh, I think I, I have no idea, but I like it. So it doesn't matter. <laughs> and I just added some lace on the raw edge there and then um, added those cards in there. And then some more rip strip here that I may have put on upside down. Once I got them torn out and they were sitting on my desk, I couldn't I couldn't figure out which way they went. And then this was a rather just plain, um, like tea dyed one of these um, die cuts and I just stamped a postcard um, stamp on it. And then the final little flip here, some more of that some graph paper and then another pocket this pocket comes from Andrea's kit and then I just added a bunch of stuff in there and then on the back I this this came in Andrea's kit it's her jumbo pocket and I just added a bunch of stuff in it. Let me take the stuff out so you can see the pocket. Um, and then I have, I have a stamp here from, um, I think it's from, where is that from? Well, never mind. I thought I knew where it was from, but now I can't figure it out. Anyway, it's a cute little stamp with coral and a fish. And then I just added um, a couple of Tim Holtz postcard pieces um, as a tab on the top of that so it doesn't get lost. And then I did the same thing on the smaller one. I thought that was kind of cute. And then just a bunch of other little pieces here. So yeah, that's it guys. I hope you like it. Um, I really enjoyed making it. I really enjoy the navy and white together. I'm, I'm going to have to do that again. <laughs> I was um, not sure what I was going to use for the cover. And then I was just looking through, you know, my stash of, of stuff that I could use as covers. And I saw this book and I was like, oh yeah, definitely. I'm using that. And then it just kind of, the blue and white was born from there. And honestly, it doesn't even need the tie, but I added it just because why not? We needed some, we needed some floofiness on it, right? Like, I don't know how to make things not floofy. So, <laughs> 
that's it guys um i hope you enjoyed it yeah give me a thumbs up if you did um and i would love it if you uh haven't already if you would go ahead and subscribe to my channel and stick around for a while and see what i have going on um i will be back soon and i hope you have a fantastic day talk to you later guys bye